Cashing in big time from the lottery, Mississippi could see a huge influx of new tax revenue from the game of chance. Next. Lawmakers are considering a bill to establish a state lottery. And for the first time ever, Governor Phil Bryant opened the door to the idea in his recent State of the State address. We can no longer contain the people's desire for a lottery. We can only force them to travel. One big question, where would all the money from a new state lottery be spent? We came to the state capitol to find out from lawmakers who would have to decide who gets what. I think the money should go to education. Longtime state representative Alice Clark has been fighting for years to start a lottery. But in as much as when we earmark money sometime, we take that money from that department. So with that in mind, the best thing would be to just put it in the general funds. I think the money should all be earmarked directly for public education, K through 12. They do amazing things with so little and, and we can't continue to underfund them and expect to move out of 50th place. Mississippi lottery lovers now go to Louisiana to bet on Powerball. By law, at least 35% of that state's lotto revenue must go to public schools. Last year, they got $177 million. And according to its website, Tennessee's lottery has raised $4 billion for education. We watch every year all of millions of dollars of Mississippi money going to our neighboring state's education systems. Why do we keep giving our money to Louisiana and Tennessee and Arkansas uh, instead of funding our schools in Mississippi? Mississippi is one of only four states that don't have a lottery. A House bill to create it survived a last-minute deadline last week. What, what do you think about its prospects? I mean, because since the governor has given his endorsement to it. Well, uh, nothing certain at all in this House is what I've learned, but um, I'd say it's got far better chances than it had last year. When we get it passed, we're going to have to have somebody to sit down and take a real close look at where it needs to go and where it would be most beneficial to the state of Mississippi. Reporting from the state capitol, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.